Hello YouTube world. This is Marvin with Better Way to Connect TV. I have here the Mohu channels. It's an all-in-one device. It's a um, it's an over-the-air uh, digital tuner and DVR, and it also it also includes um, a web a web browser and um, uh, app applications. You know, like Netflix, Hulu, and and other things. So this is another one of my kind of already open uh, unboxings. <laughs> I just basically wanted to show you guys what the box looks like when you get it um, and also what's what's in the box. So now where you get this from, I've only found one place you can buy this. It's from actual the, the actual website itself. It's store.gomohu.com. I'll show it to you right now. So it's $99.99. Okay, and you can you can purchase it from the uh, from their from their website. Now, Mohu is uh, some of you may some of you may already know may not know. Mohu are they're the company that makes the uh, the antennas, and they're pretty good antennas. Now, I've heard some people say they they don't like Mohu. Um, it it you know they went out and purchased it and didn't work for them. Uh, you know, I've heard many different stories, but for me, Mohu has always been been very done very well. I've never uh, been in a situation where I installed it and I didn't get anything. I've always got something, um, but I think some people's expectations may be uh, a little bit too high. And then also, again, you got to kind of know the the uh, tricks of the trade. You know, you got to kind of know little things to do to optimize. Uh, you getting the best signal that you can possibly get, especially where you at your location. So, um, so here it goes. Uh, without me rambling on, this is the box. This is how it looks when they when it when it arrives in the mail. Okay, and this is what's in the box. You get a it's a remote and keyboard too put together really nice it lights up and I'll show you guys this this will probably be a two-part video too um, also you I'll show you guys what it looks like on TV uh, what the guy looks like and and you know and run run you through it okay so we'll put that to the side they give you an HDMI cable it's pretty cool and they give you um, a power supply now this power supply is kind of it's kind of well, it's not like a normal regular power supply, right? They give you batteries too. Um, this power supply, it has a cord in, included, in, you know, has one of those, this type of cord. It's not a, not a USB, not a micro USB cord. So, it's not saying that anything's bad. I'm just saying, I I was kind of, you know, shocked when I seen because everything is like, you know, usually has a, a micro micro USB. And so this one didn't. And here's the actual unit itself. It's really small. It's kind of strange looking, actually. This is the actual device. And it doesn't look like any type of DVR you've ever seen before. Got Mohu logo on the back. Um, right here. You got your Ethernet port, your HDMI, USB for your external storage, and then your power. And this is for your antenna, your Mohu antenna, or whatever antenna that you have. It doesn't. It uh, they want you to use it with the Mohu antenna, um, but it works with any other antenna, over the air antenna that you may have. Okay. So that's it, guys. In the box, you got your 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 manual. Okay. So um, this uh, this runs ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cent. It's it's not that bad. I'm, I'll go ahead and run down the pros for you, and then I'll run down the cons. And, and um, on the second part of the video, I actually show you what it looks like connected to the TV, and I'll run through it, and uh, you guys can you know make decision for yourself if you want to um, if you want to purchase it or not. Now I've had this unit now for about um, about a month, I want to say about a month, and I got some. It's it's kind of a well, I'll just run through the, the the pros and cons and let you let you you know let you decide for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna start with the pros. 
uh, the first thing I like about it, it's an all-in-one device. I mean, it has its own web browser. Uh, you can, it gives you a TV guide, okay, free TV guide that you don't have to pay for. A subscription free TV guy and the device is $99. It's a hundred, it's a, it's a hundred dollars, you know, with taxes and stuff. So by the time it's all said and done, you know, shipping it to you, I think I spay, I, I think I paid, um, $112 for shipping and handling and then taxes and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, but like I said, you know, anytime you get a DVR that includes the, the, um, the, the television guide, the channel guides, you usually are paying over a hundred dollars. Usually like you, you're looking at 200, $300 range from the devices that I've, that I've seen so far. Um, or you're going to be subject to a subscription where you have to pay for a month to month. Um, another thing I like is, you know, it works with your over the air. So it takes your, it takes your, it also has apps on it too. You have Hulu, you have Netflix, all the major apps. Um, that you can download this from, uh, you can download onto this device from the Google store. Actually, this is, here's another good point about this device. It is an Android based device. And also it's kind of a negative too, but I'll, I'll get to that. It's a, this, this is just a, the good stuff. So it's an Android based de device. So when you, when you log into it, right, your, your account is going to recognize this as a tablet as an Android tablet. So I thought that was kind of like, I was like, wow. So, you know, I didn't know what was going on there. I was like, why would it, why would it recognize it as a tablet? But I guess that was a way to cut the cost down because you see this device is really small. You know, this device is real small. And so I was like, okay, all right. So let me just see what's going on. So I went in, I, I logged into my Google account and I, I started downloading my, my apps, my Hulu app, my, um, uh, you can download Pandora on here. You can download Netflix, any of the apps that you would normally download for your tablet or your or your um, Android phone. You can download on this, which is really cool. You can also download um, uh, apps that are not in the the Play Store at your own risk if you want to. You know those. A lot of times those apps, when you go to other places, you you risk catching a virus or, or some type of you know some type of spyware or m malware when you when you download it onto your device. Um, you can browse the web. It has an actual web browser, not a not one of those little rinky dink ones. It's an actual web browser, just as just like my uh, Samsung tablet. You know you can go to places, you go to different different um, your favorite apps. I mean, your favorite websites, and um, it's just the same. It's just on your TV, which is really cool. And also the fact that you can kind of, kind of make, kind of, well, what I'm trying to say is you can make your own guide, so to speak. So you can have um, your favorite channels, right? Whatever you're getting over the air, your favorite television channels, and then you can add your favorite apps. And um, you can you can put in there your favorite websites, whatever your favorite websites that you like to go to. OK, so those are the those are the pros. Now, the cons, the cons is when the first one I got to say it's slow, guys. It is slow. You can't push this too fast. This is like you, you I, I would describe it like having that old PC, that old laptop. That you, you know, you surprised that it's still working. It's like five or six years old, but the thing is still kicking, right? But you know, you can't push it, but so fast because it, it just won't do all the things that a, a, a brand new fast laptop will do. So you have to wait a little bit and let it think about it, let it process it. And then, and then it'll do what you need. As long as you don't push it um, and stay within the, the device's parameters, you'll be all right. But for some of you guys, I know this is going to be too slow. You won't like it. And you're like, no, I'm going to send this back. Okay. Um, it's powered by Android. I said it also was a pro, but also saying that it's a con too, because you know, there's certain, there's certain websites that you cannot go to on your tablet or your, or your cell phone. It just won't work properly. And so so there's just some websites that just won't work properly. Uh, on your cell phone and or on your tablet. So in this device mimics a cell phone or a tablet because it's powered by Android. So 
that you're gonna have to you'll have to deal with. There's 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 little get arounds that you can do, but you can only do so much on a cell phone and a tablet. You know, uh, after a while, you just have to get on your PC and and do whatever it is you need to do. Okay, the other part is the other con is another con I should say is a remote. The remote is not accurate. It has kind of uh, like a mouse like type of uh, situation. And you'll see it when I show you uh, on the second part of this video. You'll see it what it looks like. It mimics. I think what they had in mind was they wanted to do something like the LG, the LG um, televisions, how they have the remote. And it looks like a, a, a little wand and, and you can see the mouse on the screen. So wherever you move the remote, the mouse follows on the screen. Same thing with, I think, some of the Samsung televisions, too. But I think really, actually, uh, LG is like, um, I think they're corner, they corner the market uh, for those those type of devices. Um, I, this tried to, I think the guys tried to mimic that, but it just did not work well. It, it, it just doesn't. You, it has a, the remote kind of mimics a cell phone in, in a way. It has kind of like a, a gyro, a gyro microchip in it. So... You kind of have to shake it to get the mouse to go where you need it to go. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's kind of crazy, but it is frustrating. I can't tell you how many times I've been messing with this remote, trying to get to a certain channel or trying to type in a certain thing. And some of these, some of these buttons stick. So you'll be trying to put in a password or whatever, and it'll stick. And then you'll have 50 letters, you know, on, on, on your, on your password. And you're like, oh. then you got to go back and erase all that stuff. So it's just really frustrating. Another thing is uh, the device overheats when you task it too much. If you if you got it doing too many things, it will overheat and then lock down. And then you have to do a power reset. A power reset, you pull out the, the power plug, wait for a good uh, five minutes, and then plug it back in. And after it's done calmed down, you know, cooled off a little bit, it'll work perfect again. But who wants to go through that, right? Who wants to go through all that 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 uh, stress and, and, and worry and frustration trying to unplug this thing, especially if I don't know how your setup is, but some of you got your your your, um, your home theater systems really nice. You got your TV up on the wall or, or maybe it may be enclosed in a um, in an entertainment center. Right. You don't want to be digging through all that stuff to get this thing out. So definitely uh, this is a very frustrating device. I give them props for trying to pack everything in here but at the same time they did not you know they didn't give it a fast enough processor to handle all this stuff like the like the um the fire tv the amazon fire tv that thing has i think it has like a, a quad core quad core chip in it i mean this thing is it, it it's blazingly fast like you get on it and you just start rolling through the apps like it ain't no problem um that's the amazon fire tv not this device this device is totally different you got to you got to pretend like you behind an old lady at the grocery store and she got a walker you got to just wait <laughs> you got to wait till this thing gets to where it want to want to go and then then make up his mind and what, what it's going to do um those are the really big the really big cons that i can think of right now um again i want to like this device i really do but it's, it's, it's got their fallback. Some of you out there may be like, okay, well, you know what? I'll deal with it. I mean, it's only $99. Um, I get a free TV guide. I get to record my over-the-air TV shows. Um, it's a one-time purchase. I ain't got to worry about it again. You know, it, 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 it makes its money back. You, you got your apps. You got your Hulu app. You got your Netflix app. Ma major, major problem. If you are a Prime member, you're on Amazon, this will not let you download it because it does not rate the, the Amazon app. You can't download the Amazon app to get your Prime shows on a tablet. And this is recognized as a tablet. So I don't know. I, I don't know what they were thinking about there. Now, what's really what's kind of funny is or odd, I would say, is when you look at the guy, it actually has. The Amazon website pre-programmed in there. But as you know, all y'all know out there that you can't watch, you know, your shows on the website through your tablet. Well, at least I can't. 
Maybe you might guys you, you you may have some workarounds out there. Maybe you, some of you guys may know how how to watch your Prime shows on the actual website through a web browser on your tablet. If you do, please let me know. Give me an email and 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 because uh, I, I would I would love how to do it. every time I do it on mine, I have a Samsung uh, tablet and it locks up or it tells me I need uh, Adobe Flash or whatever. This bad boy. So any. Any website that you plan on going to where you're going to try and stream some shows, um, if it has, to, if you have to have Adobe Flash, this won't work. Or unless you know how to sideload Adobe Flash on there. But that's for the techies, man. You guys, I'm sure some of you guys will take this thing and, 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 um, and root it <laughs> and, and go to town with it. Maybe some of you guys know how to unlock it. And, and, and um, But... For just the regular average Joe who buys this device and want it to work like um, a TiVo or a Channel Master or um, what's the other one that's that's really popular? Tableau? Uh, yeah, Tableau. Nah, this this is not it. This is not going to do it for you. Okay. Um, so I guess that's it for right now. The second part is coming up and you guys, I'll, I'll run, run it through and you can see what it looks like on TV. And um, uh, it, it, look, it actually looks pretty good on TV. So until then, stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. So this is my television in uh, my master bedroom. And here's the, Mohu, here's the Mohu Channels device. It took me all of maybe 10 minutes to cook this up. Here's my, um, this is the cable to my antenna. As I said before, it goes in the back. And then in the front, you have your HDMI, your um, Ethernet port. This right here is a 32 gigabyte um, USB drive, 32 gigabytes. I got it off of Amazon for about, uh, I think it was on sale. It was like 14 bucks for 32 gigabytes. I was like, yeah, I'll get that. That's it. That sounds like a deal to me. And so here's the power cord. And it just sits, you know, you can hide it right back here. Just for right now, you guys will be still be able to see it, but you can just hide it right. Um, you can hide it right here behind the, behind the TV within the crevice of the TV if you want, if you can fit it. Um, I just sit, sit mine right here so it can breathe. You know, I get it's got plenty of room to breathe and everything. I just sit it right there. And it does real well right there. I haven't had it overheat on me that much. Uh, maybe... When I first got it, I had it overheat, but then I, ever since, ever since I put it back here, it hasn't overheated. So I think open air is the key. Letting this thing, and then you see the, the grates right here, letting it breathe as much as it can possibly breathe. And um, I'm always running my uh, ceiling fan in here too, so. So that's it right there. It's the con connection to the, to the uh, television. Real simple. All right. Okay, guys, I tried to get this as, as even as I could. And also, uh, not so much. Um, I, hope, I, hope, I hope you guys can see it clearly. Um, I'll go ahead and wake it up right now. I tried to get this as, as clear as I could. Um, and so you see the little mouse? Yeah. Okay. And so this is the TV guy. Let me focus in on that for you. So that's the TV guy right there. Okay. Now you can go into you can go into settings. And so you have your internet. Now this is you can connect it through the Geeknet. You can connect it hardwire and this is wireless. Uh, right now I have it connected wireless to my um, my router. And my router is up here on the second floor so I get excellent uh, signal. Uh, this is a remote. Um, you can go in and uh, configure your remote right here. And you can do the mouse speed. Now when I first activated this, this thing was all it was already it was already set to fast and and I couldn't do anything with it. It kept um it, it, it you know, it just kept and so I I couldn't press any buttons. I could I mean, you know, press any letters or anything. So I had to come into configurations and then slow the mouse speed down. And so then when I did that, then then it started working correctly. But as I'm holding this, um, you can see that you can see just any little motion that I make, the mouse goes crazy. It goes all all across the board. So you see how frustrating this is. Okay, so let's go back. Um, 
You can go through here, set your language. Info. Your sound and audio. Okay. It'll do Dolby. It'll 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 do Dolby through uh, digital. It'll pan, you know. So if it receives that signal, Dolby Digital, it'll it'll do it for you. Um, let me let you show. Let me let you see what the uh, the channels look like. Here's uh, CBS number two. I like how it looks. It looks really nice. And then if you want to, you know, pull up the information, it gives you a signal strength. It gives you the signal strength and what you're on. I'll just throw through the camera channels here. This is number two of CBS. Here's number four, NBC. Hi. One of the daytime operas. And the second channel for NBC. Uh, KTL5. This is CW for me. And so to me, it's kind of slow. Uh, so you just have to let it, you know, let it do its paste. Let's see if I can. There we go. Sorry about that. Just trying to talk over this. So yeah, it'll go through its, let it, let, like I was saying before, let it go through its paces. So you see what happens like if I try to scroll through, I'll just scroll through real fast and show you guys what happens. See, it will only do it will only go so far so fast. But I mean, you know, it's not too bad. You know, if you just wait, a, wait a second or so, um, it's not too bad. Okay, so let me pull up the guide and let you guys see what the guide looked like. So, here's the guide. See, it gives you 1.30, 2 p.m., 2.30, and so forth. This is real cool. You got the, uh, I think it stops off at 3.30. Um, But this is free, guys. You don't got to pay for it. Okay? You don't have to pay for this. This is free. So when you buy the device, you see, that's one thing that I give uh, Mohu compliments on. That, you know, you, you, you buy this device, this one-time purchase, and so now you got your guy. Okay? Um, let me go back to... Channel 7. Here's ABC. Rachel Ray. Okay, so this is live TV right here. This is not recorded. I don't have anything recorded on here just yet. I didn't set up anything to record. Um, but you, this is, like I said, this is a DVR, so you can pause live TV. Okay. And you, and you go do whatever you need to do. You can come back and hit play again. Real simple. Go back to your guy. Uh, yes, do I want? Yes, I want to exit out of time shift. So it's gonna it's gonna throw me back into uh, the guide right here. And this is live TV again. So let me go to the guy. And I know you guys want to see the apps. So they have the apps set up down here for you. 
Um, you can just go through the channels and it's kind of, you see how they have all the channels laid out? So I get a whole bunch of channels. Uh, I'm pretty lucky. And I, and I know that too. I know a lot of you out there, you may not get as many channels. I, I did not expect to get this many channels. Um, I was use at first I was using the, um, the Mohu, Mohu Sky 60. I was using that and I got 90, I think 96 or 98 channels. And then I switched over to the 2605 Lava and I got 158 channels, 156 channels, something like that. But I mean, just crazy. If I keep scrolling through, um, it'll take me straight to my apps. Okay, here we go. Let me go up one. All right, so that's the Play Store. I'm gonna select that for you. So it takes you right into it takes you right into the Play Store. Okay. So this is uh, this device is recognized as a tablet. Let's go back. This was already there. I did not download this. This was something that they pre um, I guess you know like a, a, a preloaded app. Um, it's like, a, uh, you know, like it says uh, my media so you can download your your um, it'll play your home movies and stuff like that. If you got pictures, uh, also, if you got music, stuff like that. Here's YouTube. I don't think I signed into YouTube. Yeah, I didn't sign into it and see. Um, it's just like you know, like you if you if you turned on a brand new tablet, this is what you would see. Go back. See, it's a little slow. You got to wait on it. I was I was just about to push the, press the button again, and it just and so. Let me show you guys what. See, it's the website. See, here's the website. It's not the Amazon app. It's the website. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll select it for you and show you what it looks like. So you can log into it's an actual website, the actual Amazon website. So you can log into this, you know, and do whatever you would normally do. But you, it won't let you watch your Prime shows. It won't let you watch your Prime shows. It'll tell you something like you need Adobe Flash or whatever the case may be. So, and you can scroll, you can, you know, move the mouse around. So that's, this is pretty cool. This part is pretty cool, but you can see where it's kind of glitchy, right? It's not smooth, but I, I don't know. It's you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm real finicky about my stuff. Um, you may be too. I'm not sure you, what, you know, what everybody's taste is different, but it's just not smooth. Like I want it to be. So I don't know if it's me or if it's the device, you know, you, you might look at this and say, oh, dude, it's just fine for me. It just look cool. So let's go back. You tripping. Um, and I want to show you guys Hulu. Okay. If I can get this mouse, this mouse is messing me up. There we go. And I'll show you guys what Hulu looks like. Now, this is the cool part. So, it's, I mean, it's a lot of things to like about this, this, this device. It's just, a, but man, it's just, you, you got a baby, it, you know, but if you're on a budget and you, you know, you, 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 you don't want to go out spending a whole bunch of money. This is your all in one device. It'll do it for you. Uh, let me see. See, here's that, that mouse going all over the crowd, all over the place. Let me select uh, messenger. I just want to show you what what it looks how how it goes into it. Okay, Let's see this for a second here. Uh, you know what? Let's because this is my wife's stuff, so I don't want to mess up her stuff. Let's go somewhere we already was playing. There we go. See, crystal clear. It plays the, the apps work really well on here. The Hulu app works really well. And you can pause it. Yeah. Okay. So 
so let's let's see if we can back out of this. And I want to show you guys Netflix. Show you Netflix. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. I pressed the wrong thing. See, I, I got I got too fast. I forgot where I was. I'm pressing pressing buttons, not not paying attention, and I'm not I'm not letting the old lady take her time walking through the door. You know what I'm saying? This is some crazy stuff right here, man. Let me back up out of this. Okay, Netflix. There we go. So, let me see if I can find some PG rated stuff. Okay. PG rated. Oh. Family Guy. It's not really actually PG, but, you know. It's over the kids' head as far as we know, right? Some of these kids, man, they understand this stuff. And some of the adults don't. <laughs> That's the funny thing about this show. So, I just want to show you just a couple seconds of it. And, um, yeah, it, don't, it doesn't take long at all for it to pop up. Um, you know, it doesn't take long at all. And I think the buttons work with this. No, it doesn't. So you got to, yeah, actually I had to bring up the menu. And hit back. And it'll take you back. Um, let me show you what a movie looks like. Show you how fast it goes into a movie. So you know how you know how like uh, some of the devices when you're on Wi-Fi it takes a second, a couple seconds for it to buffer, and then you're looking at pristine uh, HD. And this is the same thing with this. You know, it only takes a couple seconds to, to buffer. Um, but even right now, it still looks good. Still looks really, really well. Looks good. I mean, I wouldn't have no problem watching this. As a matter of fact, if you didn't tell people what you were watching this through, they'd think it was like a, a Roku device or something. Or a TiVo. One of your TiVos you just bought. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And... Go back. So I wanted to show you guys Hulu and Netflix because those are the main ones. Uh, those are the main ones that everybody, you know, uh, watches. Not everybody watches Prime. I, I guess a lot of do, a lot of people do watch Prime, but I mean, most of the people I talk to, uh, it's like, oh, really, Prime? What is that all about? So not too many people know about Prime that I 